All right, guys, so um, we're always doing leg locks, this guard pass, this, the Baron Bolo from Mikey, everything under the sun. But uh, we need to know the basics, guys. And uh, more importantly, we need to know how to defend the basics too. So um, in this week's classes with me, uh, defense into offense, we're gonna see how to defend against the arm bar from close guard, okay? Uh, guys, Max, bring it in. Get a front row seat. All right, so I'm gonna be in my, my, my partner's close guard. So just wait for me, okay? So uh, several things are happening here, right? Most people are gonna attack your right arm, okay? Because they're right-handed and because they're gonna be using your their arm to attack, right? So for my, uh, for my right arm to be attacked, he, Sean, wants my arm to be at his center or past the center, all right? The best arm bar would be if my elbow is all the way across his body at this at this hip one, because now if he swings his legs and he gets the arm bar mate, now look at that break that he's able to achieve. You see that? This is gonna be ideal for him, all right? So knowing that, a lot of times when the person goes A and B, one second, B, as they're going for the arm bar, go ahead, go for the arm bar. I'm gonna bring my elbow on the outside of their hip, okay? Now go for it, Sean. Go for it, swing your hips. That's gonna give me the opportunity to scoot back a little bit and put a knee in between. It is gonna be virtually impossible for them to finish you if your elbow is over here. Because if I'm blocking this hip, he can never swing this leg in front of my face. Go ahead. You see that? I'm blocking that hip. And he thinks he has my whole arm, all right? He feels he has my posture broken. He feels he can get me, okay? But he's wrong because as he's going for it, I just created a little space, Sam, and now I brought a knee right in between my training partner and I. And this sometimes is the best defense. The best defense is going against someone that's going for a move, but they, they're missing one big piece of the puzzle, and because of that, it's not gonna work, and using that against them, okay? So a lot of times, just this alone is gonna save your life, all right? And a lot of people are gonna be stubborn like Sean, and they're gonna still go for it, right? But now, as a part two, so feel free to play around with this, okay? Give the person the arm, and then just bring your elbow on the outside, and that's gonna be, that, that's it. That's all it's gonna take. Then I need to scoot back and, and bring my knee uh, in between my partner and I, right? But this time, uh, my arm is gonna be at the center. I wasn't able to do this, he did a nice pull. And now he's gonna swing his legs over my face for the armbar, beautiful. Here, he's gonna hyperextend and finish it, right? So I need to catch my arm before it gets too bad. So as he's going for it, I'm gonna do a rear naked choke grip. Pause for a second, Come, take this out, slow motion, take this out. If I can, as he's swinging it, I'm gonna catch behind his hamstring. This is gonna be the perfect case for me. If I can catch behind the hamstring, now my life is gonna be way easier. But we're gonna assume that I was not able to do that. We're gonna assume that his, his foot comes right across my head. So first step is I'm gonna do a rear naked choke and I'm gonna bring my fingers behind the crook of his knee. Step number two is the leg that's closest to him, all right, I'm gonna bring it closer to his head just like, like this. this. Step number three is I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna shell his hips, all right? I'm gonna make sure that my leg is right underneath his hips. This is gonna secure his hips in place and it's gonna be make it very hard for him to extend. Extend your hip, Sean. See, he's kinda jammed up. Whereas if I'm like this, sometimes you can extend it and still get it. Okay, so I need to make sure that I'm doing a good job of shelving like this. Guys, here, don't get too excited. If you try to rip your arm out, sometimes things are gonna slip and he'll catch your wrist in the last second and still finish it. So here, look, jump on. Micro slips, maybe five, maybe six, maybe three, I don't know. Now, as soon as I'm here, I'm gonna pull this leg across my body and look, Sam, I'm gonna punch my fist to the floor. Once my hips, my fist is on the floor, I keep his hips in place. Sean, do something. It makes it very easy for me to pass his guard. Why, guys? Because from here, when Sean does this on me, all right, close right. When we're here, all right, I, I'm going for the arm. As I'm swinging, he grabs his bicep. Yes. And then he's here, all right? He stacks me, all right? Beautiful, all right? He slips this arm out. Pause. At this moment, look guys, I'm gonna take this leg out and I'm gonna start to look for triangles. So that's why it's very important that what he's gonna wanna do is punch this fist to the floor like this. Put the fist on the floor, be firm. Ne don't lean on me, just be firm. Now, see, this arm is in the way of my leg. I cannot do anything. And now, as I try to do something, circle around me. Beautiful, you can circle around me, and then here, he's gonna secure a side control, he's gonna start secure north-south, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right, one more time. So again, we're here. We're playing, go ahead, go for the arm bar, go. This is the best, all right? The best is allowing them to go for it, but they, they have nothing because you're able on the outside, and now they're able to slip the knee over the top. Now I'm gonna have a really good passive position, all right? But I was not able to do that. So, as he goes for it, I gotta catch. As soon as I catch, Sean, look, my knee doesn't stay here. This stack is no good. Look out, I bring my knee close, and then I put my, my foot up. 
guys, you can't stay here too long because he has a lot of ways he can still make me fall from me. All right, so from here, micro slips. As soon as I do micro slips, I'm gonna punch my, the floor like this. Guys, I'm not leaning like this, Sean. I'm here firm, okay? Have a good base, have a good posture. As you move and you do something, it's gonna be pretty easy for me to now consolidate the side control, get north south, whatever it is that I want. Cool? Let's be firm, make sure you do that. Rear end open to session, ACP. Otherwise, you're gonna get finished early. All right, let's get started. Uh, who does Muay Thai here boxing? If the punch, or punch is coming to my face and I'm one second slower, it's gonna land in my face, right? So just that one second is gonna work or it's not gonna work. You have to time it immediately, okay? So if I have Eric here, okay? And if Eric goes for the armbar on me, all right? Eric, I was there. Where's Eric? You see what I'm saying? Like, it, as it's coming, if you try to like fumble, forget it guys. You're gonna get your arm broken, all right? I need to immediately intercept like this. And now look guys, here I'm not stepping this foot up. Why? Because Eric is gonna wanna grab under that foot in a second anyway, all right? I wanna make his life harder. So, what I need to do is I just need to shift my weight and bring my knee closer to his ear, and then I'm gonna step this leg up and I'm gonna keep his hip shelved. Guys, for Eric, he's gonna go underneath my leg with this, with this arm, yep, here, and he's gonna look to sweep me into this direction and he's gonna look to finish the armbar from the top. I know that, so I need to act, all right? I need to, I need to make sure that I slip my elbow before this happens, right? So again, once he's here, all right, let's turn this way. Okay, once he goes, ah, right away. I, I, my arm was never separated from my body. I shift it, I go here, and now as he's trying to go underneath my leg, I'm already doing my micro slips. Now there's no more arm. Now I pull this leg slightly, and now look, I'm gonna punch the floor to block this leg from coming back out around me, because that's gonna be his next move. From here, for sure, I'm gonna be pulling this leg. For sure, sometimes I'm gonna pause myself in the leg drag, whatever, whatever, or I'll get a guard pass right away. Just for me, like when I'm rolling with Eric, if Eric is good enough, from my, this is my perspective. If he's good, good enough to armbar me, he's gonna be also good enough to have a, a counter and a reaction after I escape my arm. It's not gonna be so easy that I'm gonna just pass his guard and now armbar him. You know, a lot of times it's not gonna happen, all right? It's gonna be scrappy. Sometimes you're gonna have to pause and leg drag, sometimes you're gonna have to stabilize, or sometimes this is gonna happen, and for me this is a success. I'm here, he goes, go ahead. Boom, this will happen guys, this will happen, all right? And for me, it's okay, all right? I would rather have passed, but for sure I'm, I'm out, and now I know, okay, he's an armbar specialist, he has a good armbar, okay, I gotta go, I gotta stand up, I gotta make sure that I can open up his guard, and then I gotta look for my pass. This is acceptable too, guys, okay? So guys, any quick questions before we start? We're good to go. Guys, now we're gonna do 90 seconds a piece, drilling with resistance, all right? Throw the armbar, don't finish your training partner, but give them a look. Make it, make them struggle a little bit, make them really work to get their arm out, pass the guard, give them some reactions on the pass, make sure the person stabilizes side control, or maybe close guard will happen, that's fine too. Cool, let's go. 